Uh, I've just bought this uh, Sony HVR A1 camcorder. It's a an HDV camcorder from uh, about 2006, 2007. I think this this might have been made. I'm going to do a full video review of it eventually, but uh, at the moment I'm just playing with the batteries. Uh, it came with this uh, Sony NP FM50, which is uh, an Info Lithium M. Uh, but as you can see, this is only a very small battery. Um, I've tried it out, it lasts about um, an hour or so. Decent enough time for a, a small battery, especially an old one, I don't know how old this is. Uh, but it did actually come with this other battery. It came with this uh, Sony NP FV100. I don't think you can quite see the, that, but it's uh, an Info Lithium V battery and it's quite big. It's uh, rated for uh, 3.7 amp hours, uh, but it's actually the wrong battery for this camcorder. It goes to a different type of camcorder, so how it ended up with this one I don't know. Um, I think it goes to one of the, the newer cameras, uh, but I don't know whether, I, di I didn't know whether uh, it would be compatible with this uh, electrically because they have the info lithium circuit. Uh, the bat the cells themselves are the, the same. Uh, it's just uh, two sets of cells in series to make 7.2 volts. But sometimes they they don't like the different circuits being used. Now I've connected up uh, all three terminals uh, on the battery using some uh, resistors just to stick in the um, terminals. They're only really small terminals, so they're a bit bit fiddly. Uh, on the camcorder, I've uh, clipped it on with crocodile clips. Uh, this camcorder does have some nice big terminals which are under there which are nice and easy to clip on. Uh, let's see if it'll work. I've already tested it with without the uh, data port which is this middle one and it just says use info lithium battery and then shuts off. Uh, so hopefully if we turn it on now with all three of them connected it will work or if it doesn't like the circuit from this different battery it might not. That's just warning me that the uh, right protect is on the tape. It's not complaining yet and it's giving me a battery time remaining of 238 minutes. That's quite a long time. This uh, little one only lasts uh, about an hour. Oh, it's gone down to 214 now. But if we leave it, hopefully it won't shut off. It hasn't shut off yet. I've left it running a few minutes and it's not shut off. Uh, I've got it playing a tape that's in at the moment and the battery time's gone up to... 297 minutes, so it obviously uses far less power when it's playing than it does when it's recording. I think it's safe to say that that works fine, it's run for a bit bit longer and the, the time's actually just gone up to 327 now. Uh, so let's see how long it'll last, let's, let's see how much current it takes. I've got uh, a clamp meter, uh, put, that on, put that on the 2 amp mode. Uh, we want DC, we'll zero it. I clamp that around there. Currently taking just over half an amp. <laughs> and of course I just uh, knocked the connection so it came off. Right, it's gone back into record mode, so that'll probably take more current. Yes, 0.7 amps. Now let's just see if it'll charge the battery. Um, I don't the, the non-standard battery. Uh, I, I don't have a dedicated charger, so you have to plug the camera in, and then it charges inside the camera. Of course, this is a bit fiddly to do when you're filming it. turn it off to put it in charge mode. The little charge indicators come on, let's test it with the clamp meter. Should be going the other way around now. It is at minus 770 milliamps so that means it's charging the battery. So now the question is how do I get this to attach to this so that I can use it? I might have to try and get creative there. 
Uh, one final thing, uh, what happens if I disconnect the uh, communication cable? Will it, uh, will it complain, do you think? Yes, it did. <laughs>